20th century art pushed possibilities to extremes. We encounter a series of isms. Cubism, Fauvism, Expressionism, Futurism, Dada and Surrealism, to name a few. The notion of the painting as a window had persisted from the Renaissance up to the end of the 19th century. The glass through which Cezanne, Van Gogh, Gauguin and Munch stared introduced severe distortions, but the frame remained. Pablo Picasso and George Braque, in their invention of Cubism, changed that. They abandoned fixity of viewpoint and fractured the contours and planes of an object as if form and space had been crushed and reconstituted in an alternative order. In doing so, they effected a revolution in its own way as profound as relativity and physics. Picasso's rival for a new type of painting was Henri Matisse, who aimed for a radical, joyous pictorial vocabulary. When he exhibited with like-minded painters in 1905, their primitive freedoms of colour and form were so extreme that a critic described them as fauve, wild beasts. Dada was against art and artists, and did not constitute some kind of official movement. The rule was no rules. They were seriously nonsensical. The New York branch of Dada is famed for Marcel Duchamp and his iconic fountain, a urinal, signed untidily by R. Mutt. Surrealists were not so much anti-art as seeking a new mental reality for the creative act related to Freud's ideas of the subconscious. The logic of rationality was to be replaced by the dreamlike conjoining of objects. Over half a century, there are serial attempts to tell us that art is not what we thought. Provocation was a matter of both conviction and posture. To be derided by the establishment was becoming the norm. Indeed, it became almost necessary.